Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Beautiful head kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back and just truly makes up the target. Sight to behold. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Just out of range with the big right hand. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Flush right hand is true. Clipped him with the right hand there. Some nice back and forth action here. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Look at how he turns. Hit over when he throws that kick. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Oh, that's a good right hand. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Choi's got his back again. 
All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out of it. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up with that kick, but he somehow is managing. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. All right, close guard now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Because Saris' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Leg kick. What a punch. And they separate. Big body kick land. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Horn set for the end of round one. All right, well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should laud the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's broken. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Just watch the ability to land anywhere. Choi's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Straight right hand, no good. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Too much. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. It's a nice punch lands over the top. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice body shot. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just missed with the left there. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Try to establish that jab. That was a thudding leg kick. Joy gets touched by that kick to the body. Now 
Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a tumble either. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Throws the right hand there. Caceres' lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Nice punch by Chor. Head kick lands. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Takedown lands. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Choi. And back to his feet. All right, so he lands another hook. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the most significant. That was the best one. But what I like about him throwing this punch over and over again, he just has a fantastic ability to land that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right hand punch to the clinch. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Nice uppercut. Mm -hmm. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent rolling. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and getting defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the court? All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Ooh, what a punch. Joy gets caught by that straight hand. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, and he counters with a hook, and he landed the punch there, or so it appeared. Nice job by Choi. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Straight punch lands. Choi gets stung by that leg kick. Connects with a right. Big kick lands. If your opponent has it in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, DC, if you're a young striker, I would think watching this guy would give you a lot of tricks of the trade. Just beautiful to watch him work for those hooks. You watch him as a young fighter. You watch the little details to his striking, how he slips off the center line, and he returns with that beautiful hook. Over and over, he is finding that shot. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he out. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. They can pay for it. Just misses there with the left. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, it's one thing to have left. It's another thing to 
use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Takedown defense holds up. Got the single collar tie. He lands a big knee to the body. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Able to check that kick as well. Defense. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well-placed kick there by Caceres. Visibly limping here. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Unable to land with that punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Left hand punch with the clinch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Well-placed kick there by Choi. You got to check these low leg kicks. Back and forth we go. Caceres gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nice one-two combination there. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Nice. 20 seconds to go. Nice body shot there. Another shot lands upstairs. Big shot to the head. him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Oh, he heard it bad with a jab. Don't be stupid. Pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice punch, Lance. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice leg kick. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. There, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Nice loop of punch. Back and forth we go here! Oh, tags him with that money left again. How about that shin? There's no tell on that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Superman punch now. Beautiful 
beautiful leg kick throw. Choi gets caught with that punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they're fighting behind it real well. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent... Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, big left hook there. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Big kick. Single collar tie now. And there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up oh. now. Look at the redness there. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left. Oh, he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Felt like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he is certainly doing that right now. Oh, oh, unbelievable. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. Nice straight punch. <laughs> Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. What a performance. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. Ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, ten seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner, Bob.